Hi everyone, it's Allison again with New Little Life. Today I'm going to walk you through how to set up and use your Spectra breast pump. Now I've already done a video on this, but I gave some wrong information. And so the video had a lot of views, a lot of comments, a lot of thumbs up, but I want to give you the most accurate up-to-date content. So I took the video down and this is your new video. So today I'm going to walk you through the Spectra and give you everything you need to know about setting up and using your new Spectra pump. Okay, so here we go. If you want to know more about this bag that I have my Spectra in, I have a whole video on that for you and I'll put a link up top for you on this bag because I absolutely love it. Okay, so the most common question I get about Spectra is, do I get the Spectra 1 or the Spectra 2? And that's a fair question. Personally, I don't even know why they make two different styles of these pumps because they're exactly the same except for one feature. This is a Spectra 1 and this one has the built-in rechargeable battery. So it does come with a plug hookup that is dual voltage, by the way, for all of you Americans that are traveling to Europe or in the military like me, so that's a great feature. But the Spectra 1, which is this one, has that built-in rechargeable battery so it doesn't need to be plugged in to be used, which is awesome. The Spectra 2 does not have that. I think it's also slightly smaller, nothing you would notice, and it's pink. So. Spectra 1 is blue, has the built-in rechargeable battery. The Spectra 2 is pink, and it does not. In my opinion, the Spectra 1 is the way to go, but if you have a Spectra 2, also a great pump. You can use the Spectra 2 pump double or single side. So all you have to do is stick the tubes on the two little holes there. Voila, double pump ready. If you only want to pump one side, you only hook in one, and then it comes with this little cap that you need to put over the other hole. So today we're gonna pump doing just a single side just for the ease of the demonstration, although most people use this to pump two at the same time, which is the way to go. The cool thing about the Spectra tubing is that it's exactly the same on both sides, so you really can't mess it up. I mean, it's not rocket science, but. So let's start with the phalanges. You should get two phalanges that come with your pump. The most common size that they send is a 24 millimeter, and you can find the sizes right here on the side. This one is a 20 millimeter, which is a little bit smaller. 24 is the medium that it comes with. They also make a 28 if you need a little bit bigger. The size refers to the diameter of this opening right here. And what you're looking for is for the entire nipple to be pulled into the tube when it's sucking and a little bit of the areola. So the nipple is this erect part and the areola is this part. If it's taking in a lot of areola while you're pumping, then you need to go down a size. If, it, if your nipple fills up this entire hole, it'll be a little painful too. That means you need to go up a size and get a size bigger. So it should pull in the entire nipple and a little bit of the areola. Size is important. You won't get the right milk output if you don't have the right size and it's uncomfortable and it can cause some damage to so get the right size. I'll put some links down below for other sizes of phalanges if you need one. The Spectre uses the duckbill style valve. So these should come with your pump, but you need to attach them right on the end just like this one is. This is the part that closes off the suction while the pump is working. So when the pump is sucking in, you'll notice that this is closed. And when the pump is sucking out, it opens up just a little bit to let the milk drip in. So it's going to be moving like this throughout your whole pumping session. That's normal. You know it's time to replace these when this little hole stays open a little bit all the time. That means you're not going to get the good suction closed when the pump is sucking in. Time to replace these. You need to replace these every three months or so or your pump won't work as well. The next step to assembling this pump is to put on the backflow protector. Sometimes these will come in two pieces like this. All you need to do is snap them together. These come apart really easily though, which makes for easy cleaning, which is a good feature. They only go together one way, so really easy snap that together. You're not going to mess this part up because one side does not fit on this pump, only this side does. Awesome. What this backflow protector does is it prevents milk from entering the tubing and going into your pump. The Spectre is a closed system pump. So what that means is that there is a barrier between where the milk is during the pumping session, the milk is all on this side, and between the tubing, which goes to the motor. So there's a barrier here, meaning that milk isn't gonna get from here down the tube and into the motor. Some people think this means that this is a multi-user pump, like you can share with your friends or give it away when you're done, and that's not what it means. And in fact, I'll post a link below on sharing your pump and a couple of things to consider before you sell your pump or buy a used pump. But 
that back floor protector is an important part and it won't work without it. Next, you need to attach the bottle. The Spectre uses wide mouth bottles. So if you're searching for nipples or something for the top, they need to be wide mouth. The Spectre pump does come with two bottles, two nipples and some caps and stuff like that. So you'll probably want to get more too and I'll put another link down below for extra bottles and stuff for the Spectra. Attach the bottle there and this little section is ready to go. Okay, so I don't have this plugged in but it does have a little battery so I think it'll last for the video. But we are going to turn the pump on. You'll notice it's actually a pretty quiet pump. So that's a little taste of what the Spectra sounds like. So let me explain this display here. So I haven't touched it since I turned it on. This is just a setting that it last remembers from when I turned it on previously. So if you wanna save your settings from the previous pump, it will do that. All you have to do is turn it on and it will pull up right where you left off, which is kinda of cool. Another question I get a lot about breast pumps is how high does the suction go? Because I think some people think more suction equals more milk, which is absolutely not the case. In fact, sometimes more suction that gives you a little pain, but you're like, I'm gonna pull this milk out no matter what, that often does more harm than good. I would be surprised if this pump didn't go high enough that you needed. I mean, there's always that weird case where someone needed this extremely high suction or something, but this pump is gonna work for almost everybody. So don't stress about how high the suction goes. It's not really a thing you need to worry about. Okay, so when you first turn your pump on, you're gonna end up on the expression mode, which means this is the mode that you use to express your breast milk. The cool thing about the Spectra, and several pumps on the market these days have this, but it's the dual phase expression technology or something like that. You can click this little button here with the three lines, and you can hear how that changed the suction. And what this one does, this one has a set cycle per minute of 70. So it's gonna do 70 cycles a minute no matter what. You can change the vacuum strength on it though, which is be how hard or soft that it sucks. And this mode is to try and stimulate a letdown. So when you first turn it on, you can switch over to this, I think they call it massage mode, and it's gonna stimulate a letdown. So it's, it's similar to like a baby sucking fast, trying to get the milk to come down. So as soon as you feel that letdown or see it in your bottle, you can switch back over to the expression mode. And this is a slower and deeper suck, to, similar to what the baby does when they're taking milk from your breast. So this is the mode that you'll want to express your breast milk on. It might seem weird that it's slower. You're like, I want the milk out fast, but using it on the massage mode, just so it's faster, is not going to work. This expression mode has a few different speeds as well as vacuum. So you can change the vacuum just like you can on the other side. It goes all the way up to 10. So it's the same speed, but the suck is much stronger. That 10 vacuum is like insane. Yeah, don't start there. It goes all the way down to one. This is a real light section, and this is probably too low for a lot of people, but if you had really tender nipples or wanted to start out on the low side, you could start here and work your way up. I found somewhere in between four and six on the suction worked pretty well but always start lower and then go up to your comfort level. Never make the section harder so that it, it's causing pain. It's really just doing more damage than good and it's not going to make it any faster. It's not going to get more milk, just don't. This On this mode though, you can also change the cycle speed. So this one is going at 54 cycles per minute. You can go down to 50, 46, 42, 38. 38 is the lowest that it goes. So you're seeing this is kind of a slower suck, and this again just depends on how your body reacts to the pump. If you find that you express more milk on a lower cycle, there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes that deeper suck draws more milk out for some women. If you want it up a little bit higher, and your body tends to react to that a little bit better, getting the milk out, go it up higher. Just kind of play around, and you'll find what works for you. Like I said, this pump remembers when you shut it off the next time you turn it on. It's gonna be exactly where you left it the previous time. So once you find your sweet spot, you can turn it right back on and it'll start right again. Don't be surprised if the vacuum needs to be adjusted day to day though. Sometimes just your body responds better or it hurts more or less to a higher or lower vacuum. So that can vary daily and that's totally normal. My favorite feature about the Spectra pump is the little night light. You probably can't see it super well because it's bright outside, but I love this night light. Actually, even when I wasn't pumping, because I stayed at home mostly with my second one, I would use this sometimes just for my breastfeeding night light on my bedstand. So I'd have my pump on my nightstand, and instead of turning on my lamp or the light to kind of feed him at night, I'd just have my pump sitting there and use the light. It has two different modes, so it's got a softer light and a brighter light, which I thought was really cool. 
Also great for pumping in the car, anywhere really that you need just a little light to see what you're doing. Really cool feature Spectra, well done. When you're done pumping, there's a little spot in the back that you can put one bottle while you take care of the other one, which is awesome feature again as well. Then you don't run the risk of it falling over on the table. As soon as you take care of the breast milk, you'll want to take this all apart, rinse it with hot soapy water, and then set it all out to dry. Occasionally, you'll want to take this apart too and let it dry. You can get mold and yucky stuff in there. So make sure you just take the entire thing apart, let all these pieces air dry after you wash them with just soapy water. These are all dishwasher safe as well. So if you wanna throw them in the dishwasher every once in a while for a quick sterilization, go for it. There's no need to put these all in the dishwasher after every time you pump though. It's just breast milk. I mean, sometimes when I didn't have the time, I just a quick rinse in water was all I could find. And I put them in my bag to dry, you know, okay, and then I'd wash them when I got home. So this is my favorite little wet bag for my pump parts. So you can put the wet parts in there if you need to deal with it later. Or it has this snap-on drying mat, so you can lay that out, dry your parts, and then when it's all dry, throw them back in there, put it in your bag, ready to go for next time. I'll put a link down in the description box for that, along with some other accessories that I love for the Spectra. If you want to see a video on the Medela versus the Spectra so you could see how they pump differently, kind of what they sound like right next to each other, I'll post a video up here for you so that you can find that and check it out. If there's anything I missed or you have more questions, comment below because I love to hear from you. And I'll see you next time. Happy pumping!